All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on the smart car we got for free. Now, we got this off Joe from Shift and Metal, and in his words, the engine sounded like two skeletons shagging on a tin roof. But we want to make sure the engine's all right before we waste any time trying to repair all the body panels. Yeah, so today, we're going to be putting the clutch actuator back on that we stole to repair his one, um, chucking a battery on it, and then investigating the engine rattle. So let's get it in the unit. Come on, Johnny, push. <laughs> All right, is that your excuse? You can get a bit of a push on for the hill. I know, it's a trick, isn't it? Go on, struggle with me, lad. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is put this clutch actuator back on, just so it's drivable again, because we pinched the one off this and put it on Joe's car. Spanker. Lovely. Let's get that on. How much that? 140 quid, was it, or something like that? 120 odd quid, I think it was. Get this on, get the battery on. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Hey. <laughs> Start. Put that there. That's down there, isn't it? It literally just goes. It's been that long, I forgot how it goes back together. It's only three bolts in a wire. Ah, f me nail. Ah, it's snap me nail, man. Ah. Right, it is that way. I just need a bit of splash on it. So if you didn't watch the last episode on the smart car, the reason why we bought one of these is because we pinched it off this car to put on Joe's car because it wouldn't select gears. So it was just easier to pinch this one and then buy a new one for ours. So hopefully when this is fitted, the car will be selecting gears and that'll be boxed off, but we'll check that in a minute. It's in the old. I'm just going to set it where it was set last time. You can see the marks there. Where? Yeah. Right there. So that's just where the other one set. It might be different. Might need setting up, but we'll see. Right, so we've got the clutch actuator on there. We're just going to bring it down, chuck the battery on, go forward and backwards, and just make sure it goes into gear. Then once we've done that, we can move on to sorting out whether the engine is actually knocking or it's just got a rattle. Definitely sounds like a tinny rattle, doesn't it? Yeah, it 100%. does. Because when you rev it up, it sort of goes clearer. Yeah, it wouldn't It, do it doesn't get worse and worse like no, a knock no. would. Yeah. So anyway. Right, so we've got the battery in. Oh, and we're just gonna. I don't even know if this battery's any good, do we? Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got a bit of yeah, splash. Yeah, charge it up, it was sound. All oh, right. Hear yeah, that then? That rattling knock thing. That's the two skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's lights. I'm drinking. Look at that, there's no juice in it. No juice. There you go, first gear. Does it move? It's it goes into gear because it says it said first, then yeah, uh, first rev it. And then. Yeah, so it, so that's the actuator working. Yeah. We'll take it on, just take a bit of the shit off the discs up and down. Jump the brakes on, just de de the discs. Nice. Definitely bad enough on the front of this. So I don't think I've drove this one. It's only on really light revs. The rattle comes in. Like... Does this actually fit on this? No. What are we gonna do? Put the back end up. Take forward again. How'd you open the boots? So, a little bit of a test drive was successful. Selects gear, goes forward, goes backwards. That's all we really needed to do. Yeah. Now it's time to investigate this engine. Now. I've seen a video where you can get to the engine under here. Now, I've never actually worked on one of these, so I don't know. Hi, <laughs> pad lad. Rapid. Oh, yeah, it is. Rapid. 
Ah, uh, we need to make that fast now. Just put the say in there. We need to make it rapid. So that's your access to the. Is it? Yeah. Cleanest, is it? But how hard is to do an air filter on it? Mm. There's a mission that way. Yeah, they could have made the hole slightly bigger there. Could have made it well bigger. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah, vehicle score. Vehicle score, check it. So, next up, we're going to do a vehicle history check on the smart car. But to do this, we'll be using today's sponsor, Vehicle Score. And don't forget to use the code TVR20 at checkout to get 20% off. So, it always comes in under this yeah, vehicle it score. So, as always, Romeo, Alpha. 61. Papa Alpha. Papa Alpha. Duh. Delta. <laughs> Delta that's wrong. Quick check car. Yeah. Oh, 736. Sick that. Flying. 53 cal. 13 years old. Actually the important bit there to see if it's ever been written off or been used as a taxi. Right, so we are actually gonna scroll up here and do a vehicle history check, a full one. But you can click on that and you can add called TVR20 in the promo code to get yourselves 20% off. T V R twenty and add. And it gives you from eleven ninety five to nine fifty six. It's definitely worth doing one of you are gonna be buying a car. Yeah, hundred percent. And you pay securely. So next vehicle score is gonna generate our hidden history report. So to start off it gives you some general details about your car. But if we scroll down, this is the really important bit. And this is where we will find out if this car has any major red flags or not and all green ticks. So we can be confident that this car doesn't owe any finance, it's not an insurance category, it's got no salvage record, it's never been stolen, it's never been a taxi. So a big thanks to Vehicle Score for sponsoring the channel and helping support us. If you want to do us a massive favor, go check your car on Vehicle Score and use code TVR20 at checkout for 20% off. So we don't actually know what the problem is here, so we're literally just gonna to have to start it and check if we can find anything rattling or just try and pinpoint the noise. Let me just check the oil then and that's fine. So all we can do is start it and have a look really. Yep. That's exhaust rattle that. Oh, oh. Before the engine's even running, it not rattles about. No, it's not that. So uh and it sounds a bit mad like but you just take the exhaust off? I don't think it's the exhaust. Hold on, it doesn't do nothing. It's okay, gone there. Good. What? Lift the ramp up. Hang on, go and put some oh, rubber, man. put blocks under the tyres there. You have it a little bit? I think it's gone, it's just getting into London. Hey, run! It is like riding a sump, or it's hard to tell because the sump's like there in the gearbox, bell housing bits there. I don't know what. Can it can a torque converter fucking rattle about or? Oh yeah. So yeah, it could be drill mass. It does sound very like round there. You gotta literally put your ear on it on the bottom of the fucking sump. <laughs> Can you 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. If it is geo mass or anything like that. You need to find out and have a look online. You can't sell that. <laughs> it stinks. From underwater for ten years. <laughs> so they are on geo mass, aren't they? In flywheel. Just out of curiosity for a second opinion, is it worth just ringing my dad and saying, hey, the semi-autos have a clutch, an actual clutch. They work on autos all the time. I've never even opened the gearbox with an auto. I think I, op I opened one in college, but it was one of them that had been opened a million times. You know what I mean? It's just like, left that off there, that's fucking... I don't remember what was in it. No. This has got like one of them automatic, a clutch selector, you know what I mean? Like an auto, yeah. literally as soon as you crank the key, you get like a proper loud knock, like as if an exhaust banging against the side of the car. But we got this as like free for fixing the other one, remember? Um, and just listen, hang on. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon as you, soon as you touch the key, like keys now. Yeah, it's a Big end out, really. Is if you take the plugs out, mm. turn the engine over, yeah? Yeah. Get your piston to the top on each one. And then turn it so the piston starts to go down. And then put a screwdriver on top of the piston and push it. If it drops, obviously you've got a you've got a bearing gone. Yeah, yeah. But it's gotta be on its way down. Yeah. So obviously like the crank's pulling it down, but the piston lags behind on it. Yeah. So you push on a screwdriver and if it drops, you, you, that that'll tell you when you've got a big end gone. Yeah. Right, okay, because it is, the, the noise is right at the bottom, like. Yeah. I mean, it could be more than one, it could be two gone. Yeah. It's worth trying that first. But then if you had big ends gone, would it not, would it not bang, it, bang like mad all the way through revs? Yeah, you'd have thought so, but sometimes, like, when you get it, when you get to a certain peak, they just tend to go quiet. Oh, right. Unless they're really bad. Would there be loads of metal in the oil if we dropped the oil? That's a good point, yeah. You would, you would, you would have some sort of firings in the oil, some metallic looking in the oil, but I tried, I think they're a bash it together, the plugs on them, aren't they? You've got about a 12 inch of gap. Well, the boot comes out, so you get like, at the floor, about 12 inches by two, three foot of floor comes out, but then there's not much room. Crap. Yeah. I think if you get, if you get a, if you can get a span on the crank pulley, and go back up and forward with it, I think you'd hear it then. Yeah. Right, okay. Try that. Alright. Yeah, sure. Alright, and nice one. Right. See you in a bit. Ta-da. 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 Yeah. So what did he just say? Put a spanner on a crank and just move it. And if, it, if it's like... Dot, 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 dot. You know what I mean? Or spin the engine round. When, get the pistons to the top of the centre. When it's on its way down, the piston's being pulled. So that'll have the gap. Push on the top of the piston. And if the big end's gone, yeah. it'll drop. Got ya. See if there's any play there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the next thing to do. The complicated thing is getting the screwdriver to the, yeah, the I plug hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I would. It should start with the oil. Or even, like you say, you could drop the oil, couldn't you, and just see if there's any crap in the oil, if you wanted. Do, but then we're going to have to fill it to get it back out. But it does sound like a, a rattle knock rather than a an engine oh, knock. <laughs> a rattle knock, that's it, yeah. Like a rattle tap rather than an engine um, knock. going to do what Liam's dad said. We put, we took the cover off, put a socket on the... What's it called? Crank pulley. Crank pulley. And we're just going to turn it backwards and forwards and see if we can hear or not. That's like butter. Not a sausage. The play, that, that play is just in the bar and the socket. Yeah, yeah. Sound, man. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, there's no knot there. You can just hear it turning. <sighs> so, that's inconclusive. Yeah, it is. And all you can hear is gearbox turning. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's no metallic bang there anyway. No. Right, so after getting a spanner on, well, getting the, the bar on, the end of the crank, moving it about, there's not any noticeable play. It feels quite silky smooth, to be honest. So I think next thing to do really is drop the oil, see if we've got any metal filings or anything like that in it. If, if there's no metal filings in it and it is nice and clean oil sort of looking, then I'm saying it's not the engine really. I mean, end, yeah, all big ends at least, exactly. Not ruling out that it isn't the engine, but if you had shells gone or anything like that and you've
pasted, well, been ground to a paste, you're going to have metallic oil, aren't you? Yeah, 100%. Clean a bouquet. So, drop the oil. Plaster's going to get it. How big is it? What's going on here? I don't know. It's got like a, a filter sure. in the nut. I don't know, why would you need that? That's weird. Oh yeah. I've never seen one of them before, me. That's weird, isn't it? I don't get why it'd be there. Because you'd want the bits to come out if you're draining it, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, not stay in. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to strain them in there. <laughs> Take clean oil out, leave the bits <laughs> in. Anyone tell us why that's on there? Unless it goes in there, when it gets to the lowest point and then it struggles to be pumped back around. Clean oil, that though. As in, like, what's on my fingers? It's not like... <clears throat> there is a chance that if the big ends are gone, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you hadn't done that rattle test, like the, that someone could have changed the oil, it'd come out clean and you'd think it wasn't there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, but yeah. it is because someone's changed the oil. Yeah. But with us doing the yeah. backwards and forwards. How much oil in it, I'll tell you that. No, no, it's the... Get touch. Right, so, it is really clean, that like. Mm. It does look clean to the naked eye. I wouldn't say that was mentality to me, like. The only reason we're doing this here is because it's a bit of a mission. If it's knackered, just taking everything apart. What's there? Well, I wouldn't say you could see much in there, me. Like, no, I mean, we're fighting to see it, so yeah. it is, it's minimal. I mean, I, we've had knackered gear, like, both of us have ruined engines before, and, like, his impression oh, and stuff like that. And you can, you can 100% see metal filings in oil when when you've done something bad haven't oh yeah it's like especially gearboxes yeah they're the worst yeah gearboxes are terrible they are very metallic -y, but this seems quite clean it's not that it doesn't answer any questions is what i'm trying to get at yeah <laughs> lovely still yeah. inconclusive yeah it is right so that was a bit inconclusive that um we don't think it's the big ends because there didn't seem to be any play in the crank bully there doesn't seem to be any metal flakes in there, which is indicate also that the big ends are gone. So we're not 100% sure on this one at the minute. So for now, I'm just gonna chuck the oil back in, get it off the ramp and get it outside because the engine's not coming out today anyway. So that's what I've got to do next. All right, guys, we're gonna call the episode there for today, but we're gonna get back on this on Monday and have the next episode on the smart car with you for Wednesday. Yeah, so if you've liked today's video, don't forget to leave us a like comment and if you haven't already subscribe because it really helps the channel out and you can also follow us on facebook instagram and tiktok and don't forget go and buy audi and we've now got air fresheners see you in the next one and if it if it's like you know what i mean